Yo, what's up you guys, it's your boy Blazer back with another video on my channel. Before we get into it, remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you guys are new and turn on post notifications so you guys will be notified after every new montage or edit is out on my channel. And before we start this tutorial, remember to follow me on Twitter, the first link will be in the description and you guys will be seeing behind the scenes of my new edits and um you guys will be seeing just about my daily life because i just like to post on there why not it's kind of cool and yeah you guys could contact me on there if you guys have any questions about editing i will respond to you and help out if you guys need anything so what we're going to be doing to in today's tutorial is going to be velocity and this is mainly going to be on sony vegas um i don't know if you could do this on after effects if you could follow along i'm pretty sure you cannot but this is going to be a sony vegas tutorial and it's going to be all about the basics of velocity so this is if you're new to editing new to sony vegas and you need help with velocity velocity is speed ramping if you guys don't really know what speed ramping is it's slowing or um slowing your video down or you could be speeding up your video so it looks really cool in montages or edits so what you first want to do i have my final version right here this is like the beginner version so this is what it looks like when it's going to be fully finished but we're going to be starting from step one going all the way back and what you guys want to first do is get all your clips on the board. Um, if you do, you could like organize them. It'll help you a lot too. But um, I'm just going to start off. You have to take your song. You get it. And um, let's um, erase all of it to like right here. This looks like a pretty decent spot because then you could like start off on the beat. And um, it's not really um, about a montage tutorial, but you know, it's just going to be showing about velocity and let's first just want to lower this down a little bit because what this will do is you could actually if you do lower it you could see where all the big bumps will be on the montage or edit if you're doing what we're doing is basically an edit but um you're just going to be playing it so let's just do this real quick let's have a little nice going up beat to it And there it is. There's the first edit right there for the first mark you want to do. And on your keyboard, there's um, on the number, the little letter M. If you do press that, then there's going to be a little um, mark that places it right there. And that's what it does. It just kind of keeps you organized. So you hit that on every single beat. So as you can see right here, boom, first beat right there. And then the second beat was like right here. And you just keep on doing this. On every single beat just keep on doing this and we're just gonna do this real quick I'm only gonna make it around let's say this long no let's make it around that right there so let's split that real quick and delete it and we're just gonna be um there one two one two right here is gonna be a beat right here and right here what else you could do is just let's just um, do this and let's just fade this out because this will be the end of the little edit. And it's a little bit shorter than this one, I'm pretty sure, but yeah, let's just keep it like that. And so that's what you have to do in the very beginning, the first step if you want to do for um, just it keeps you organized and keeps the beats perfect. So. Perfect. That is perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, and I'm back. Sorry about that. Um, I guess my Sony Vegas crash. That was cool. But um, before I wanted to say it, it is really good to pick a good upbeat and flowy song on your edits because then like it's if it's perfect with the beat. So when you have like the velocity clips going clip to clip or um, when it's just like speeding up and stuff, it is perfect. Like with this, it is perfect. The the, the beat of it is amazing. So with the first second step, what you want to do is just take your clip down. And I kind of forgot where, oh yeah, I forgot, I already did this. But you know, whatever, we can do it again. Um, we're gonna, let's just go to right there. And then you're gonna go, let's just do this. Let's do like, a, I think that's what I did for my final one. Um, we're gonna do that. Split that real quick. Oh wait, I split it the wrong spot, oopsie. And we're gonna split it right here, so split and delete that and then we're just gonna go grab on the second clip or just not even gonna touch it real quick i just want to get a couple of the clips in first before we do actually do the velocity um so we're gonna do that split it right there and then the last clip down here 
Let's just do these first three clips and then I'll show you the basics. It's really easy. If you really do get the hang of it, it is way easier than you think it is. So there we go, have that clip. And there we go. Okay, these are the first three clips. So what you first want to do is um, you're going to click it. You're going to right click it and then go into insert, remove an envelope. And you go hit on the velocity and you see this little green bar. You're gonna um, first what you want to do is just like I say go right here and then you're gonna bring this little bar up and it first has like this kind of wave to it you're gonna right click it and um, yeah then you're gonna have to go into fast fast fade on the um, the this end is really good so you just go fast fade so it looks good like that you see that and then you want to get on this next beat right here you're just gonna hit it right here and let's have one at like the end right there and then you're just gonna have you're gonna do another double click in the middle of the video and just basically pull that up okay well it's all you have to do it's really easy and then what i like to do on these is do a slow mode right there so it's slow going into it and then going coming out of it i'll just do slow mode again you know so it has like that going up and then it comes out really fast so it looks like that it looks really good and it's perfect and then you're just gonna at the end here again is just hit it and go that again and then do slow fade again on that so coming out of it go a slow fade coming in doing a fast fade and then for the middle here you could pick whatever you want if you like to do um fast fade and fast fade you can it just looks like this as you can see and if you like to do slow and sl um, slow and fast then it's just a little bit like it doesn't have that much of an impact like as you can see it does not have that much of an impact i don't really like doing that so i just like to do slow and slow and that's perfect like that now we're going to go into the next clip and it's basically just doing that again it's it's really not that hard it's pretty simple if you really get the hang of it and yeah i've only been really using sony vegas for the past four months and you know it's pretty easy to get catch on to so just gonna do fast fade like that and as you can see, that's perfect like that. And just saying, I already have a filter on this. If you do, you guys have to get Magic Bullet looks. It's a uh, you can actually get it for free. Um, there's really there's like easy hacks you could get for free online, and it's just it's perfect. It's your CC, and yeah, you don't want to use the built-in CC for Sony Vegas. Trust me, it does not look good. I've tried that with my first edit. Um, it, yeah, it was really bad. Tokyo, if you guys go look at it, it was really bad. Um, did not know how to do CC, but. Yeah, the magic bullet looks, it's super easy. So now we're just gonna go in the middle again, right over here. And let's go right here, and right here. And we're just gonna do the same exact thing basically again. So we're gonna do the slow fade and the slow fade. And I don't really like doing smooth because it's just like, I don't know, something about it I don't really like. And sharp really haven't really used, but you could probably use sharp if you like to. Um, it's just how I like to do it. And yeah, same exact thing. It's really not that hard, guys. Pretty easy to do. And I'm just gonna skip over to this one. Let's go right into the shots, the, the real cinematics with the people in it. So we're just gonna kind of wait till she's starting to pull out the gun. So let's go right here. And we're only gonna do one this time. So we're not gonna actually like, let's do this real quick. Okay, perfect. And now let's just do this on these. All you have to do is just two easy, like these are the easiest steps ever. Just pull up and do the same thing, fast fade, and then go like a couple inches, a couple inches, a um, couple frames actually over, and then do it again. Pull this up, and then you're just gonna do slow fade, and that's all you have to do. So it just. I'll show you guys the final product when we're actually done with this, but um, then we're just gonna have to pull this out the next clip and start it right there that seems pretty good split that again super easy to do and insert and the same exact thing all over again and what I'm gonna actually be doing in the next I say two or three weeks I will be making another video um, on just making a Fortnite montage so like actually with real clips like with real clips and doing inserting in cinematics and you guys, it's going to be really cool. That's going to be a really good video to um, film and to just learn and get experienced by if you're a beginner beginner editor and stuff. So let's just move that up. 
And another thing I like to do is just bring this up around to 230 on these clips because sometimes they're really slow. So like you just like to speed them up a little bit more. And then let's just get the last clip in. I'm not gonna do the other clip. Let's do the shooting clip because the shooting clip is on like a, it just like you have, have you hear that it's just like it sounds really cool so let's just get down to the shooter um i think it's right right about there okay so now we're just going to end it let's just end the clip right here delete that real quick and then we're just going to insert velocity again so there we go and that's all you really have to do. And there we go, there's a velocity clip. Let's just up that a little bit more and scoot this back. And that's really, that's basically how you're gonna, you're gonna have to do it. It's really that easy, that simple. We're just gonna be, why well, not let's just do this real quick. It's that easy, guys. So um, we're gonna show you the final project right now and I'm gonna be heading out and there's going to be an amazing montage actually going to be coming out. It's um, going to be coming out this Saturday. So this video is going up Sunday. And then next Saturday, there's going to be a crazy montage coming out. I've been working on it in the, for the past two weeks now. And I'm super excited to show you guys it. So um, just turn on post notifications because, guys, this montage is going to be so freaking cool. And I'm so excited to show you guys. I've been... I love this the song that I'm playing with it is amazing and I've loved I loved it forever. So basically super excited. So here's the final product. As you can see, we're just we have um all of these and we're just gonna show you it. Um thank you guys so much for watching. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel if you guys are new. It will help me so so much. Um I'm so close to 1,000 subscribers, just hit 500 subscribers a couple days ago, and I'm already at 550. Um, don't know how many even be up when this video comes up. I'm probably going to run 570, 500, 580 subs. So I'm so close to that 1,000 mark. Um, some a really uh, um, special montage is going to be coming out when I hit 1,000 subs. So don't miss that, guys. Probably going to be hitting it around middle of June. I'm, I'm, I hope that's when I'm hoping I'm going to hit it. So um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, please comment down below what um, tutorial you guys would want, want next because I kind of want to do these for now on, like these seems kind of cool, like these and edits. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. I hope you like this um, short tutorial I did on velocity and just how to use it and stuff. So yeah, see you guys next time. Peace out.